Hey, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I wanted to uh, talk real quick about the Aussie GP. It was awesome. Over here, my wife and I, on Eastern Standard New York time, uh, were able to watch the race at midnight. Um, we stayed up late for it. It was totally worth it. It was very exciting. The opening of the race was great. Looks like Max was going to get away and have one of his usual Sunday drives, but the brake caliper, I hear, is what caused his DNF as it stuck to his back right rear tire and caused a little bit of an explosion as he turned into pit lane and he wasn't able to finish the race, which opened up the rest of the grid uh, for a chance to fight for the win. Um, as it turns out, it was once again Carlos Sainz that came through for the victory. That was awesome to watch. My wife is a huge Ferrari fan. She's very excited to see it. She's a big fan of Carlos Sainz. Um, you know, based on what we saw with Perez and what Helmut Marco said after the race regarding the performance of Perez's car, and the floor of the car, and how the floor apparently hit some of the high curbs. Um, we know that Max, I think it was free practice too, um, the floor of his car also hit one of the curbs too and they had to check the power unit to make sure that it was still up and running. I don't know if the Red Bull ride height was appropriate for this weekend. There's a chance that uh, they might not have been the winning car in, in any case. But we won't know that. Uh, they didn't win anyways. Ferrari won and so Max didn't finish. So we never got to see that really play out. But it seems like as if this wasn't exactly going to be Red Bull's weekend to begin with. Um, for me, I'm a huge McLaren fan, so I'll take a 3-4 finish. That was awesome. A little bit bummed to not see Piastri on the podium. That would have been nice to see him on the podium in Australia, but I'm not against Lando being there. And Piastri was fourth. That was 27 points for the team. I, you know, I can barely ask for more if they're not going to win the race, which they haven't done in a few years. This is excellent. It was a great weekend. Take the points haul. Let's go home with it. Uh, I'm happy with it. Um, plus, you know, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos talking about predictions that I thought McLaren would finish in front of Mercedes. And right now that seems like a pretty competitive choice. Um, Mercedes seems a little bit lost. Russell had an unfortunate incident with Alonso, but Hamilton uh, definitely is not feeling the car. He's, his confidence in the machinery is, is not there right now. And the team's confidence in the technology of the car is, is not there. The, the whole team and organization seem to kind of be lost. Um, and that's, that's kind of all I have to say about Mercedes until they sort of figure it out. But on the McLaren side of things, kind of exciting. Um, the mid pack was kind of fun. Uh, I know that Albon got Sargent's car, and I'll get to Sargent in a second, but I picked Haas to finish in the bottom of the grid. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen because Haas is really competitive in terms of competing for that last point. Um, Tsunoda snuck in there. He did really well. Um, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a three-way race for a few Grand Prix until maybe some upgrades create some separation, but it looks like Williams, Haas, and Yuki Tsunoda are going to be in tight competition with each other. Um, I joke around when I say Yuki Tsunoda because uh, I do want to kind of touch on Ricardo being a McLaren fan. He had a huge drop off when he was with McLaren and now he's at uh, the RB team. And in this past interview, he kind of sounded like he was talking almost like he was talking about the McLaren car. And maybe he's lost his form. Maybe last year, at the end of the year, he had a good bounce back. Um, that can happen, but you know, you can kind of settle into your bad habits and that might be the case here. We'll see how that plays out. That's why I joke around about Tsunoda versus the other two teams, because I don't know if Ricardo is going to be competitive enough to haul in some points or enough points to be a factor. And at this stage of his career, um, it's becoming, becoming, uh, tough to watch being a big fan of his, um, with Logan Sargent. You know, I feel for him, but he's an American race car driver. We're here in the States. I'm pulling for him. I want to, I want him to be successful in Formula One. Um, for him to lose his car like that, you know, 
uh, I, I, I hope that mentally he doesn't just recoup, but that he you know, fortifies what's in his core and really fights back and proves his worth to the team and to fans and uh, the, the entire grid as a whole uh, gets in there and he can compete. That Williams car is good enough to steal that last point, and I hope he scores some points this year. I really do. Um, I just want to touch real quickly on Carlos Sainz. Um, I can't believe he doesn't have a drive next year. That, that to me, is crazy. I mean, I understand the circumstances with Hamilton joining Ferrari. I mean, how could you say no? You, you kind of can't. Somebody has to take the fall for it. But where's Carlos is, where, where is Carlos going to go? Um, I kind of figured he would go to Audi, but Sauber is in such rough shape. That could be a really big rebuilding process for Audi since they're basically going to become a full works team. Um, are they going to be able to convince him to go? Is, uh, is Carlos going to be able to go over to Red Bull? Um, will Mercedes take Carlos? Carlos is good enough to be at the front with any front running team. It's just a matter of who will take him and why they have not taken him yet. Um, you know, obviously there's a negotiation process, but it's, it's a mystery to me why teams just are not throwing themselves at him. So anyways, that's pretty much it for my recap. Uh, please tune in, please subscribe, click the like button, click subscribe, make a comment. If you disagree with anything I have to say, if, uh, if that basketball hoop right there, you know, uh, if, if you ever want to play me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm ready to go. You know, me and my kids have an awesome day.